Hi, I'm back here again in SwiftBoss back office and in this video I'm going to be talking about specials and promotions. We can use specials and promotions to set items uh, to a particular price, um, to sell them at a, at a special price over a given period. Uh, and it functions in very much the same way as happy hours. However, uh, the main difference is that happy hours generally run all the time um, on specific days of the week between specific times of the day, whereas a promotion doesn't specify the day of the week or the time that it starts. It really just has a start date and an end date. So I'm going to jump right in and start here in products and specials and promotions. And you'll see that this screen looks very similar to what we dealt with in the happy hours video. Um, the, the only main difference is that the filters up the top. If you want to open and edit a promotion, you can do that by clicking on open down the bottom and then selecting the promotion that you want to edit from the list here. Um, you can also search for the promotion if you do have quite a lot of them. You can search by name or by its ID number. And then you can go ahead and add or remove items as needed or extend the end date or start date. To create a new promotion, you can click on new down the bottom. And now you can give a name to your new promotion. As well as assign a start date and an end date. Uh, by default, when you create a new promotion, the start date is always going to be tomorrow. Uh, so if you want to see that active immediately, you can choose today. If you want to, you can add notes to your promotion as well, um, if you need to explain what that promotion is and, and what it's for. You'll also notice that there is a start by period and end by period filter up the top here. Um, this is used to specify when the stock um, from the supplier um, it is at a cheap price, so you know when to um, purchase that item or when to stop purchasing that item. And that's only really relevant um, if the product is actually being purchased for a lower price. Um, if you're not getting it any cheaper from your supplier, then you don't need to change these filters. Um, also, the promotion can be out of the end by period. And that won't affect the promotion. It'll still be active and it will still work at the pause. Just like with the happy hours, you can specify a location or multiple locations if you want to. And once you've got your top filters set, you can start building a list. Uh, and just like we did in the happy hours, you can either do that individually by clicking on add row, clicking into the product code and pressing enter on your keyboard uh, to search for individual products. Or if you have um, a, a large range of products that you want to add and you want to use the wizard to do that, you can do that as well. So if I click on the wizard, we have the same four tabs across the top as we did in the happy hours. And we can choose which price level we want to change, which price level we're getting the base price from for the promotion, the, the price that we'll be um, applying a formula to. And that can be either a price level or the cost price. We can use the, the groups and filters to um, choose a range of products to add. In this instance, I've just got packaged beer, which is a product group. Um, you could also use a family as well if you wanted to. And in the last tab is where we'll be setting a formula um, which will calculate our promotional price as well as configuring how we want the rounding to happen. In this case I'm using multiply by value and I'm using formula value 0 0.9. For the rounding I'm just using rounding up to the nearest five cents. I'm happy with those filters so I'm going to click finish and that's going to add those products to the grid here. Now, if there was a product added from that wizard that I don't want to see in my promotion, 
I can remove that line quite easily just by highlighting the single line and clicking on delete row. I can also run the wizard a second time if I choose to with different filters. So I might for example choose a different group of product And for that group of product, I might even use a different kind of formula. So I might use subtract percentage. And I want to subtract 15%. I'll keep my rounding the same and click finish. And that will add the next round of products to the grid with the appropriate prices calculated here, which seems to be approximately 15% lower than what the normal price of that product is. Once I'm happy with my promotion, I can save my changes, send an update to the terminal, and those prices will now be active. Anyway, that's promotions in a nutshell. Um, quite easy to use, very similar to happy hours, and a very versatile way of automatically putting items on promotions at a future date um, and turning that promotion off at a particular end date without you having to actually interact with the system at the time. You can set these up weeks in advance if you want to and when the start date comes along it will tick over and that promotion will now be active. I hope that's been helpful. If there are any questions go ahead and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.